Behold, the Texas A&M Fuco Pendulum. The pendulum stands seven stories tall, and the mass at the end weighs 400 pounds. That's 400 bags of marshmallows. So why did we build this thing, and why do people spend hours observing its motion? We all know the Earth rotates. The sun rises and sets every day. The stars rotate at night. But the first visual demonstration of the Earth's rotation was Foucault's pendulum, created in 1851 by French scientist Leon Foucault. To the Lego man, it seems the pendulum rotates and the Earth stays still. However, as we can see, the Earth actually rotates under the pendulum. So, on the North Pole, in exactly 24 hours, the pendulum will seem to make a complete rotation. Now let's talk about what happens on the equator. We can see that no matter what direction we start the pendulum in, it will not seem to rotate. It's rotating with the Earth. Here's a model of the pendulum's path at Earth's North Pole, equator, and somewhere in between these two extremes. Texas A&M's Fuco Pendulum is at a latitude of 30.6 degrees. Our model tells us that the pendulum will take 47 hours, 7 minutes, and 11 seconds to make it all the way around. Let's see if it's right. And indeed, physics wins again! Time to celebrate! Come visit us at Texas A&M and see our pendulum, and you can personally observe this effect over the course of 47 hours.